All right, what's up guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do just a real quick, quick and dirty flow test on the injectors. Got a little rig set up, and the main reason I wanna do this is because I wanna look at the driver side bank versus the passenger side, and I wanna look at the number five and seven injectors and make sure that those weren't like flowing significantly less and cause this issue. So I did do that uh, like porting the fuel rail video, and I did some like grinding and stuff inside the fuel rail, and I think that there's a possibility that there was some junk in there. I did wash it out, but maybe I didn't wash it out good enough. So that's the point of today's video. Just want to check the injectors, make sure they're still flowing mostly evenly or close to how they were when I put them in. I got a little uh, quick and dirty flow rig here. Just wired up some plugs to the rail, put my other fuel pump on it, and I have a return going back to that tank there and I have it hooked up to the battery with a momentary push button switch so I'm gonna turn the pump on so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna flow these things wide open and see if there's a significant difference run them for a little bit and then we'll see if they're way off like the number five and seven are way off on the flow rate or something So that went pretty smooth. So now I'm just gonna mark all the, I'm mark, gonna mark all the cups, and then we'll we'll check them all and see. I'll try to make this a little bit more accurate. I'm gonna use a old baby bottle, and yes, I'm gonna throw it away after this. We don't use them anymore, anyways. But see that one's at about 85 milliliters. So I'm gonna go through and do the rest of them, and we'll compare and write them all down. Well, here are the results after the test. So my concerns were with, really with five and seven, because those are the ones that broke. Those look okay. So we got 90, 90, 90, there's another 90, 85, 87. So they're all, they're all really close. And that was like a 45 or 48 second test, wide open. So these things are, I think they're pretty close. Uh, they were originally like 3% apart on a 20 second test when I put them in there so I'd say that they're actually still doing pretty good. Seven and eight I'm not surprised that those are the highest or in the highest range because those are the two highest flowing when I put them in there specifically because I wanted to uh, give number seven and number eight more fuel. So I'd say that this is pretty good but one thing that I found was interesting was one, three, five and excluding seven all on the driver's side they're all the lowest numbers so 85, 85, 85, and then we got the 90 here, but 2, 4, 6, 8, those are all the higher numbers, 90, 90, 87, and 90. So that's kind of interesting considering that everything happened on the driver's side, and they all have the, the lowest flowing, but I wouldn't say that these are flowing so low that it would cause like a, a catastrophic failure like like it did. So just wanted to show you that. 